Hey guys, we have a dead power wheel here. So we're gonna be testing the battery on it. I'm gonna show you how to do that using a multimeter. So here we have this setup. It's gonna be a 12 volt battery. Typical for most batteries, you can test using a multimeter. So I'll show you how to do that here. Um, typically the batteries are gonna be underneath the seat and that's the first thing that you wanna check when uh, there is a dead battery. So it sits right in there. Another random tip I'll give for you to use a magnetic bowl like this. This is just from Harbor Freight, but that way these screws, they're gonna stick there and you won't lose them. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we wanna do, obviously you have your multimeter. So we're gonna turn it on to 20 over here. And you notice you can plug the red into the ohms or the volt side. So we're gonna have it on the volts. That's what we wanna test. Now, if you found this, this content useful, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want. Okay, so here is our old battery. So we're gonna put metal on metal. This has the F2 connection, which is nice. There's a little hole in there. So you can see that's 3.75, and that should be over 12 for the 12 volt battery. So let's try this here. This is the new one we got off of Amazon. You can see we're just over 13. So that's what we're looking for. So I'll link, I'll link this battery um, in the description for you. We, went, we spent a few dollars more for this one. It just has a lot more cycles in it as opposed to like your typical um, sealed lead acid battery. It's also much lighter. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the hear the thud difference there, right? Uh, so this is a little bit lighter and it's gonna last a lot longer. That's it.